Salam and welcome back to the island of visual arts. My name is Visha and today we are going to be looking at animating calligraphic texts in animated wedding invitations. So a lot of the uh, calligraphic text animation tutorials that I've seen on YouTube ends with a very big problem that is these annoying overlapping areas that look very janky. So make sure to watch the entire uh, video because I'm going to explain to you guys how to fix that and make a much more professional animation. This is the first uh, proper After Effects tutorial on my channel so if you do end up liking the video do not forget uh, to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Okay let's jump into After Effects. Okay, we are inside of uh, Adobe After Effects. I'm gonna go to composition and create a new composition. Um, you can create a new composition in the latest uh, versions of After Effects from here as well. I'm gonna just do this. So from here, I'm gonna name this like, I'm just gonna give calligraphic text animation. And I'm gonna give the width, um, 1000 pixel and height maybe like 1500 pixels pixel aspect ratio is square pixel is good uh, frame rate let's give it 30 resolution full i'm gonna give it maybe like 15 seconds and background white click ok next i'm gonna go to text tool zoom in here and click once here and i'm just gonna type just one letter W. Okay, let's give it maybe like a um, calligraphic font. Um, I like this watermelon script demo. Now let's go ahead and give it a color. So I'm gonna give it a blue because we like blue on this channel. Okay, now let's go ahead and take the pen tool and we're gonna select the layer from here and uh, we're gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna create a path just like that. By the way, if you can't see the path, uh, if, for in this case, um, it looks like this is a purple color. Um, if you don't want that, you can just undo that and do that again. That will give you another color uh, that you can see easily. By the way, this is not, um, I'm not painting, I'm not making a line like this I'm just this is a path this is the path that um, the animation will happen the revealing animation will happen so just do something like that and we're gonna maybe like go down here and by the way I'm moving around uh, the composition with my space key so I'm just gonna create this path along the text. So this indicates that um, the animation will happen along this path. Okay, this looks good. Now all we have to do is go to effects and preset and type here stroke and it will be under uh, this generate a stroke yeah so we just we can just drag and drop it onto this layer or we can drag and drop onto a uh, timeline so it will show you um, like a line uh, at the middle of the uh, text if there are um, some adjustments that you you want to do uh, you can make some adjustments just like that um, what we are gonna do is uh, we're gonna uh, give it a, another color that is not white because white is going sort of uh, like invisible because the background is also white. Uh, I'm going to give it maybe like a red color so that we can see what is going on. Um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make the line, this line thicker than this uh, calligraphic text size. Uh, I'm going to increase the brush size just like this. You can click here and drag right to increase it and drag left to decrease it. So you can even give it a maybe a value like 11 
or 12 and you can make some adjustments like that your objective is to hide everything all the pixels of the text layer so um, you can see that there's a start and a end start is at zero end is at 100 so if you decrease the end from 100 to maybe like 80 70 you can see that the path is sort of animating we can take advantage of this path to reveal the uh, text layer okay how do we do that it's very simple you just have to go to paint style down here and you just have to change on original image to reveal original image so this will do nothing <laughs> um, so you just have to uh, animate the end just click here and you will see what is going on nice okay we will start the animation from uh, the first uh, second uh, let's go ahead and create a keyframe like click here once on this stopwatch and you can't see the keyframe from here uh, but if you press U uh, it will show you the keyframe so we have a keyframe uh, we're gonna go to like maybe five second maybe four second forward in time in the timeline let's bring this keyframe here and let's go back to the first uh, second and we're gonna decrease uh, the end to maybe like zero the end is at zero on the first second and at 100 on the fourth second so let's go ahead and play this okay it's very janky but still it works so the next step is to uh, fix these janky parts of the animation uh, but before that you can do some uh, some adjustments on your own uh, to fix some of the areas so you can make uh, some adjustments um, without even uh, doing much work uh, it will give you some better results so this part is fixed just like that and now all you have to do is just fix these parts but before that uh, let's go ahead and select these keyframes right click and go to keyframe assistant and easy ease this is to make the animation smoother and uh, less robotic okay so to get rid of uh, this overlapping issue all you have to do is create some shapes but uh, before that you can go to layers and create a new layer and create a solid layer and maybe like a white color because we want this to be the background rename this to BG and I want to bring it down and make this uh, lock this layer so okay so the the problem starts uh, from here you might want to zoom in uh, to the frame by frame uh, level to find out the problem so the problem starts from here what you can do is you can select the pen tool create a shape um, around here to hide uh, this part so like like something like that we don't want too much uh, of the shape just like enough to hide that part so when you um, animate this it's hiding the faulty area of the animation and you can start animating the shape the path of the shape from uh, from this point so to animate the shape all you have to do is click here and go down here and down to the path and click uh, click the stopwatch of the path right about there and you want to uh, maybe like animate frame by frame like so and you have to just click uh, this shape layer and it will show the anchor points of the shape and you just uh, keep animating these anchor points like so uh, in this case uh, the the animation is pretty quick so we can get away with a very minimal animation just like that so and we will end the animation just about here 
alt close bracket so this sort of uh, hides the faulty area of the animation so we're gonna do the same thing uh, on this side as well just click away and deselect anything that you have selected deselect and that will uh, create a shape otherwise um, if you have selected something it will just create a mask on that layer so don't do that deselect everything click here like so I'm gonna do it very quickly and we're gonna maybe like um, alt open bracket clip it here and from this point we will start animating um, the path of the layer of the shape layer and we will like click away and then and we will sort of end it here so yeah this is gonna nice okay let's play this part very quickly play nice okay uh now all we have to do is just do that for all these shanky areas let's see the next overlapping um issue start from let's move the um the time indicator a bit further and uh, let's make a shape just like that and uh, we're gonna make another shape just around here okay so we're gonna animate this shape okay so this is starting from from here okay so select these two layers and i'm gonna alt open bracket so that it starts from here and stays there uh, until it reaches uh, back like around at this point and i'm gonna animate this layer so let's go down to contents shape and path make a keyframe and let's move the time indicator and let's animate this frame by frame just like that and i'm gonna close the yeah, I'm gonna end this layer right about there and I'm gonna do the same thing with this layer animate this go down here path make a keyframe you know sometimes it it doesn't allow you uh, to make any changes to the anchor point it just moves like that so all you have to do is just click away and then click it again and it will allow you to move the keyframes and let's just go ahead and end the layer right about here i'm gonna click out and close square bracket so i think that would solve that problem let's go ahead and take a look at okay i hope you all understood um the technique that i'm using here um it's a bit trickier and it's a bit of work but the end result is very very nice all right guys um that is pretty much everything i hope you learned something new today from this tutorial if you did uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button i hope i'll see you guys in the next video until then salam.